Dude Like Hella is changing names. Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. Good morning guys, it's a beautiful day here in Eagle River, Alaska, and yes, I know a lot of you guys know this, but Dude Like Hella is changing to a different name. Yep. We are always gonna be Dude Like Hella, but I know that's confusing to people. <laughs> of course, I'm wearing a Dude Like Hella shirt today, and I know a lot of you guys have Dude Like Hella shirts, but here's the thing. Uh, I know I talked about this uh, in a couple of vlogs ago, what was it, Making Big Changes. If you haven't seen that vlog, yeah. go watch it, so you can kind of catch up. Um, we are changing the name of this channel simply because Dude Like Hella doesn't fit our lifestyle. It doesn't fit what we're really going for on this channel. And a lot has changed since I started Dude Like Hella. Um, what is Dude Like Hella? Dude Like Hella is me. I'm the dude like is basically explaining a little bit and Hella means a lot to the most, to the max. Problem is people don't understand that. People think Dude Like Hella and none of that really makes any sense. And it's, it's actually hard for a lot of people to Remember it's hard to remember hella is not a good word. It, well, it is but it's not it's, it's not a bad word It's used it's... good, but it comes from a bad word. Yeah, where I am from that's a bad like one people don't say that word But the word that sounds closest to it is not a good word Yeah, so and and I know not everybody is you know religious and it's it's not gonna bother most people But still there's that you know still. It's all of that encompassing. And so now what we're trying to do is find a name that, that really shows who we are. Who are we? Now it's, you know, we're a family channel. We're doing this together. It's not just, you know, baby vlogs. It's not just Kristen. It's not just Corey. It's yep. us. It's us as a family because this is, this is who I am now. I'm a family dude, you know? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm this. This, yeah. is, this is me. And we want to share our lives and we want to do this together now, you know, because I feel like Dude Like Hella was, it was always me just as the single guy, you know, but we are making some changes to where I do have my own channel. Oh. Yes. And, uh, with if you, dude stuff. With dude stuff, or it is just, just me. Just like, I'll have my own channel with lady stuff. Which actually she already does. We both do. Okay, so her yeah. channel, her channel is Kristen. Mine is Mr. Safety. Like that's, that's it. Yeah. I haven't posted too much on Mr. Safety in a long time, but we're revamping the channel, bringing it back and I'm making sort of regular stuff on it again. And you, you'll learn all about that. Yeah. S&P Films is sticking around, staying the same. The Mean Kitty's gonna come back as well. Oh, yeah, but we'll get there. But first and foremost, we want to make sure that we get Dude Like Hella on track because right now this is our main channel. This is like what we do, you know? Like we make these videos and so. Yeah. It's hard, names are hard. Because it's not, it's not just picking a name for a channel. It's like, who are we? Yeah. <laughs> like trying to, a big question. trying to find a name that completely encompasses who we are. And when mm -hmm. you hear it, you're going to be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. That's what yeah. they do. That's who they are. I get it. We don't want to have to explain to people why we yeah. named ourselves. And, and we don't yeah. want to just be the Williams family or, or, uh, you know, we just, we want something all new. And you guys yep. get it, I'm sure you get it now. Yep. But yeah, so that's what we're having a hard time with. It's funny, we came up with a couple different names. And one name, I was like, that's it, that's the name, and I had he the intro. He almost cried. And, yeah, yeah, almost. I didn't cry, I didn't. No. But no, it was, it was so good, I even went on Twitter and I was like, I got it, I got the name. And then I slept on it, and then I told some of my friends and families and, and it's colleague, colleagues, and, um, Mixed reviews. Yeah. So I was like, dang it, man. And everybody had really good, you know, points. Some people loved it. They thought, wow, that's just, it's, it's perfect. And then some people are like, man, that makes you sound kind of old or, or you get yeah. it, you know? And that's, yeah. How do you make everybody happy? You can't. You don't. So. Which is why people like name their kids and then don't tell anybody until the baby comes. Well, that's, we almost did that. I know. We didn't tell anybody. You, you're too excited. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't tell anybody Chell's name until we were 110% sold on yeah. it. We were like, that's her name. This is it. And Suck everybody up. loves it. Yeah. yeah. But let's be honest. I bet you there's a lot of people that if, if we would have said her name early on, they'd have been like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. But that's like with any name. Yeah. Names are everything. hard. I don't know. Bottom line is the change is coming. Dude Like Hella will have a new name and the new name won't have dude in it. It won't have like in it. It won't have Hella in it. Um, it'll be something completely different. 
and new. we're gonna make sure to tell you guys, we'll give you sort of a countdown yeah. to tell you. We're not just gonna surprise you one day as a different channel and not yeah. a whole lot's gonna change. I mean, the only thing that's gonna change is really the title. And like I was saying about the shirt, you know, we're still Dude Like Hella. It's just, it's like Dude Like Hella's and then Whatever. cool new name. It's like, yeah, your shirt says Dude Like Hella and then right here it says Living, Living in, in Alaska. Alaska. So it's kind of like that. It's just something that, that new people can find us with and, and, yeah. and older people can go, oh, okay, cool, it's Dude Like Hella, so. <sighs> and by the way, thank you guys so much for all the name suggestions. Yeah. Just, I, thank you. So many good yeah, ones. Yeah, there's a lot of really good ones. Mm -hmm. Dang it, man, I just came up with another good name. A really good one, like I love this name a lot. So do, do I tell family and friends and, and colleagues or do I just do it? Do it. Ah, oh, it's a good message. It's positive, it's fun, and I, I think like if, if you've never heard of us before, you can go, oh, okay, I kind of get what they do. Ah. Oh, <laughs> gooly, 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 boo. <laughs> Bless you. I think we have a winner. It's, it's, <laughs> it's that's the new name of our channel. It's at you. Achoo. And then everybody comes to the comments and says, bless you. Did you, did you say bless you? Anyway, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have confirmation like from it. everybody that the name is awesome. So you know what? What do you think? Are we going to do it? I think, I think, I think I like this name a lot. I do like this name a lot. This, okay. What's, what did Blake say about it? He said, he said it has a very Corey Williams, like dude, like hella vibe. Yeah. So that's good. And what's cool about Blake, Blake and Lucinda, they're our, our friends, very good friends. They were actually viewers before they were friends. And so it's like they, they kind of understood things from, from your angle, but also understand us from a personal yeah. level. So they know us and it's all good. But yeah, okay, then guess what? What? You already know this because I've titled it. We're going we're gonna to start the countdown. <gasps> How long's the countdown? I don't know. What does it say? Oh my gosh, honey. You realize today is our last sunny day? Is it really? Yep. Look, snow. Snow in our forecast. No. It says sun it says sunny next Monday. No. But we're gonna have snow. What are we gonna do? This is this is potentially our last sort of summery day. I'm not ready for the snow yet. Oh, I'm so ready, but still. Like we need to get out. I we know. need to do something. I know. This place is gonna be white. It's already frozen, like everything's frosty. It's like 39 degrees right now. I think I think the high is like 39, maybe 4. No, it's 37 right now. Uh, yeah. We gotta get out and do stuff, but what? I say we just get out. Let's go. Whoa, how'd that happen? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look. The lake's freezing over. There's still a couple spots here that aren't frozen, but for the most part, yeah, frozen. So what am I gonna do with a lake like this? Surely I can't really fish because all the shores are frozen. Oh, that's right. I got a canoe. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take a canoe out on a frozen lake. Like I said, there's some parts out here that aren't frozen, so I just, I wanna see how it works. Plus, I haven't taken this thing out this year at all. This is the first and only time I'm taking this canoe out. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. That's not creepy or anything. <laughs> I just, I had to try. The ice isn't that thick. It's, you know, kind of thick, but not thick enough to tip the canoe. I just wanted to kind of barge into it. Oh, I wouldn't do this if the, the ice was any thicker though. No way. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm watching the most incredible thing right now. There's a bald eagle sitting on the shore and he's eating something, like tearing it apart. And every time he rips a piece off the carcass, he shakes his head and pieces go flying everywhere and it makes the lake whistle. That is awesome. Holy crap, that was awesome. All right, where were we? I seem to have gotten myself stuck in some ice again. It's like glass. <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually gonna fish today. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I almost, like, I'm starting to get a little bit more brave around this ice. You see how thick it is. I really, I don't think that much ice is going to tip a canoe. I mean, that's so small. <laughs> I kind of just want to break through it. <laughs> Why is this so much fun? Oh yeah, because breaking stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh. That was way too fun. <laughs> Incoming! <laughs> Stuck. Damn. I kind of got myself in a bad situation here. But it's okay. I'm, uh, I'm close to shore. I'll show you guys in a second what I'm talking about. This is some thick ice I'm in right now. It's like an inch thick. I'd show, but I... Got him made it. That was bad. <laughs> I just made what might have been a very stupid decision, but I'm safe. That's all that matters. Ugh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I thought I was gonna tip. <laughs> I really did. I wanted to get to the other side of the lake. There's this like little beach area, and um, the ice over here got to be really, really thick. It's like an inch easily and I felt the canoe starting to tip a little bit and instead of trying to set up the camera to get the shot of me doing stuff I was like no nah, I'm just gonna put the camera in front of me and focus on what I'm doing but uh I made it <laughs> see I wasn't kidding dude it's so thick it was like an inch thick all the way and I just broke through there oh my god that was awesome <laughs> actually if that's an inch thick oh, dude this is gonna be an awesome place to skip a rock hang on oh there's rocks everywhere <laughs> let me get one here we go, ready? First rock of the season. <laughs> yeah, look at that, dude. That is thick. Well, the nice thing is I've already broken a path for myself, so I'm not so worried about getting back. Although, you know what? I really should be fishing. <laughs> All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get out of here, try to actually find some fish, and do the thing before well, just do the thing. Is this considered ice fishing? Or what would you call this? <laughs> kind of stuck here. I mean, it is ice fishing, but it's not ice fishing. It's kind of like ice-ish fishing. Well, this is pretty cool. These sound like chimes. Ready?
know, I'd have to argue that canoeing in the, in the cold is actually a lot more fun than canoeing in a midsummer day. Because like in the summer, it's hot, you're dealing with bugs. Sure, you can get out, you can swim, cool yourself off, but there's also a lot of people around. But this, yeah, it's it's cold outside, but like as soon as you start paddling, you're you know, you're warm again. Like it's 30, probably like 37 degrees outside. I'm not even a bit cold. No people around, no bugs, <laughs> no fish. But like, it's just, it's, it's, it's its own experience. I like it. I do. It's just too bad you can't do it very often. Because once this lake freezes, yeah, can't do this again. Until it thaws, of course. And I'm safe. That was fun. Time to get home to the ladies. All right, it's late. It's time to go to bed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. We take a selfie. <laughs> okay, how about just you? <laughs> saying goodbye to sunshine, saying goodbye to warm. Heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm. So much to see, so much to do. And the best part is we're sharing it with you. Do like hella. <laughs> I love this. This is awesome.